But oh my god, welcome to the prancing hall. This really is prancing at the front end, isn't it? Hey, what's up guys, I over here and welcome back to a brand new video here today. And it is that time of the year where we introduce you to Formula NASCAR on the official Formula One game. Those of you who've been around for at least the last two years on the channel will know and are familiar with this mod. But if you are not, well, let me take you through it. It kind of does what it says on the tin. It is a mod that improves the speed, the, the, the drag of the cars, and essentially makes the racing look a lot like NASCAR. You know, it's very uncanny through some of these corners. Essentially, no dirty air, massively over-exaggerated slipstream, hardly any damage damage on the front wing and rear wing so you can get legitimate bump drafting like they do in NASCAR and due to the kind of over, over acceleration nature the racing I will admit is uh, very much like NASCAR you know bumping and contact is part and parcel of that racing over in the states and uh, that is what we get with this mod and so today I introduce you to Formula NASCAR 2021 I will link the mod down below from race department fantastic mod a lot of fun we always have a lot of fun with it on this channel, so definitely go check it out. And today, to showcase them all for the very first time and have our first bit of action on this game with the NASCAR mod, I thought we'd try it on a circuit that we actually haven't raced much at on this year's game, which is the Chinese Grand Prix, Shanghai. It's been a long, long while since we've done the Chinese Grand Prix. I think the last time we even did it on this game was all the way back in Breaking Point when it's part of this story. But of course, it's not on the, the main calendar in my team career mode. I've hardly done it in any one-off videos either as well so let's show China some love and let's see well you just think about it the back straight that long banked corner the right hander onto that back straight the speeds are going to be something else and I think that the spectacle that will create is going to be something else so let's dive into that we're going to be starting this race in last place of course because if you have watched Wall and Ascar before yeah I, I mean it the, the speeds are ridiculous and so we should in theory probably be able to make our way towards the front to try and fight for the race win driving as Leclerc in his Ferrari. This may be actually the quickest Ferrari have gone in a straight line for many, many years. So, you know, they, I'm doing them a favour. Here we are then, a third year and a third outing for Formula NASCAR. This time in 2021, the Ferrari lights are out and we are underway. It's going to be a kind of normal start, but then the speeds will start to be picked up as we fly towards turn one. Oh my god, what is that suspension? Change! Of course it was, of course it was the egg. What was this suspension? <laughs> what was the suspension travel? Look at the juddering going on there. Looks like the 2013 McLaren fucking Bronco at the front. Does it look that weird from the off-board camera? It is really bouncing. That suspension's really having to work very, very hard, isn't it? Okay, gonna try that again. Wasn't really prepared for the buffeting suspension, nor was I ready for uh, turn one, to be honest. It has been a long while since we've done China properly. Like I said, breaking point, uh, you know, this is the proper 2021 cars with a NASCAR mod now. China is going to be very different. Turn one, well, having to break quite a fair bit, but look at the slipstream we're getting here. Oh my God, I've found a cheat code there around the outside of many, many people because the slipstream is like, I think five cars or three cars wide so you can still get slipstream here from the car ahead, but okay. Oh, uh, slow it down. Sorry, Lando. Sorry, mate. Okay, the suspension travel um, is an issue at every corner. It looks like the, the Formula NASCAR mod is working overtime on the F1 2021 game. Maybe there's something different with, you know, obviously different physics every year from uh, each game. So compared to 2020 and 2019, maybe the handling model is so different when it comes to the suspension travel that it is, um, well, it's being seriously affected by this mod because this is this juddering is happening every single corner. But taking it easy here because as I've said many Many times when we try this mod to be first you must be second or third actually it's actually not uh, advisable to be in first place on the last lap but look at this 
We're gaining all the speed. 230. And we're already... Oh, wow. Oh, it's full wide up the road. I can't see anything. This is a spectacle and a half. Four wide, is it? Well, it's three wide here. It might be four wide. Nearly five cars covered by... A, I mean, look at this. You could chuck a blanket over them. Like, actually, you could chuck a blanket over these guys. That is insane. And then, what is even more insane... Look at that Ferrari. Look at the Ferrari. If I just zoom in. Look at it, guys. It's just... It seems to be just the Ferrari. Ferrari, you know, though. I think that may be a Ferrari issue. I've, I've somehow picked the worst car for, for this issue. Right, back to Bouncy McGee here. Where's the brake zone? I'm going to go to the left-hand side. Slow it down. Around the outside. Oh, Perez, Hamilton, Perez, Verstappen. Three wide. Look at this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like a swarm. Oh, they're taking... Oh, we go through for first place. Oh, not quite. They're already slipping me. Ricardo to P1. But they already took each other out in the last corner. I've got two, maybe three cars. I made inside. I don't even know. Oh, no. The grass. No, easy. Roll it back in. Roll it back in, Arrow. Right. Calm. Oh, three wide through here. I mean, it's just three wide everywhere, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're into P. What is it? P5? Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Potter. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't get over how bouncy this car is. This never happened in on last year's game or F1 2019. It's actually mental. This is NASCAR settings. Bomb drafting. Look at this. We're like a caterpillar snake going through. It's ridiculous. We're actually so nose to tail. I know that's what, what I was expecting, but the spectacle is quite something. It's it's actually happening more than it did on last year's game. Last year's game, we had a lot of uh, side by sides, but we're getting a lot of bomb drafting here from AI. Look at the way Verstappen is bomb drafting Ricardo there. Uh, by a lot. The AI never used to bump draft that much on F1 2020, I feel, with this mod. As we build the speed, and it's going to be them five fighting. Well, I think it's five. I mean, for right now, it looks like about ten with the amount of blurry cars I can see. Down to neutral gear. Trying to get to the inside if you can. Use some ERS. It's uh, all a bit futile, though, as we're taking it easy. Can I again cut through on the inside? There we go. That's what we want. Gain on Bottas. Side by side, it, that's not going to help us. We're going to slow each other down. We need to get in Hamilton slipstream. There we go. We can't let a single AI get away from us. If a single AI gets away and breaks the slipstream, they may go on to win the race. We need to be careful that we're still there in the midst, you know, within like a couple of two, three tenths uh, of P1 uh, on the last lap to go on to win this Grand Prix. Is uh, oh, oh, my God. Bottas on the inside, Verstappen did me on the outside. Nice and easy on the rear end, God. Okay, gonna stop deploying here. That's gonna lift off here on purpose, just try and stick behind him here. I wanna practice what I'm gonna do on the last lap, because if I don't, I'm not gonna get into first place, because so far, we haven't actually managed to get into first at any point. We briefly did, I guess, but we got immediately slipstream. So let's practice this on the last, on this bend, basically. We want to, oh God, as we're around everywhere. It's three wide. Ricardo dive bomb down the inside. We've got Bottas on the inside, but here we go now. Take the outside line and then kind of feed in the power like this. Use the toe. Use the, oh, the toe was so powerful there. Almost undisted off circuit. Then bump drop for Stappen or someone. Keep going. Keep going. DRS open. 225 miles. I'm literally pushing for Stappen through here. And oh, no, no, no. That wasn't meant to happen. Sorry, Lewis. Sorry. So oh, there's been a massive issue. Oh, ow. And there we go. Ow. Oh, and it's all over there on the inside. Oh, God. <laughs> the McLaren spun the Merc. I'm just going to reset us here just so we don't have an absolute calamity. I'm going to back out of this at turn one. These guys are absolute steroids here. Right. Easy does it. The understeer is actually mad because of the uh, acceleration in like second and third gear. The understeer kicks in so much. Right. On the inside here, they're going to take each other wide. And then we could cut through like that for P1 on the last corner. We're going to try that. That's the tactic, I think. I don't think we can actually get P1. We can't keep P1 if we get it at the hairpin. We actually have to... Oh, my God. What the... This really is turning into NASCAR. That bumping and violence we're having on track. God. I was going to say, um, you know, the, the slipstreaming is so powerful off the hairpin. We need to actually get this at the last corner. Ironically. So, FIA, you want to improve racing? Look no further. For NASCAR, you're going to get a last corner overtake on the last lap every single race. I have sold everything for Ross Braun 
and his team of crack engineers, I feel. And I will take all the royalties in the world if they implement this uh, for, uh, I don't know, when's the next reg change after 2022? F1 2025 with the new engines coming. I think we could, uh, we could try and establish some NASCAR settings in 2025. Look into it, Ross Bourne. I'm sure these, uh, these physics are entirely realistic and uh, definitely, uh, you know, you can recreate these in real life for sure. Well, why not? Why not? Right. Again, we try this again. It's three wide to there. That's mad. Bottas. Oh, slips through on the inside ahead of us. We're going to try this again. What if I'm, if I'm four cars back? What's the slipstream saying then? Right. Building the power now like this. Catch on to Ricardo. No, I've lost Ricardo's slipstream. But oh my god. Welcome to the prancing. Oh, this really is prancing at the front end, isn't it? Right. Let's practice. Let's practice this because this is the last time I can practice this. Right. Pull through. We need to be close to Perez. We need to be closer. No, Perez has gone away. This isn't going to work. Move, man. No, what are you doing? Move. DRS open. Right, I think we've lost the Red Bull. I think Verstappen got taken out by someone. I don't know who. It may have been me. Um, and we're going to pull through into P3. Right, I had enough of these guys. It's time for the final lap action. No messing about. We need to be right on the tail of P2 and P3 here for the rest of this race. Go on, Bottas. Go on, son. I'll push you through. Easy. Saving the ERS. Saving the ERS. Perez go through. Right, these two, they've broken away. I think we may be safe from Ricardo and Hamilton. Ding dong battle going on with Perez and Bottas side by side for this entire section. You'd never see this in the real life Chinese Grand Prix or even the normal Formula 1 game as they're still, still side by side technically. This is enthralling racing and we're going to just calm down. Hamilton on my inside, he's joined the party. It's again going to be five, a five car battle for P1. But this is where we go through. Okay, easy does it. Right, Perez, gonna use you, mate. Let's go, let's go, buddy, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 pulling through. Oh, Hamilton's pulled through. We're gonna re slipstream Hamilton. Get back into the lead. We jockey for position. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Easy does it. Oh, we're into burst. Right, can we maintain first place, though? Because they'll slipstream us using all the ERS in the world. No, we're slowing down. They're on our outside. We're going to go for the defensive move. And we're going to hold on to P1. Just about. Just about. Oh, yes, we've done it. We've won the Chinese Grand Prix in the ignore. Ignore. I can't say that word. Ignore. Girl. Formula NASCAR 2021 Grand Prix at China. From last place, what a what a valiant valiant effort that was! Uh, Bonotto can't believe it. He hasn't seen a Ferrari travel that quickly around the corners, let alone the straights, for about a couple of years. But uh, absolutely amazing stuff. Beautiful. Look at that. Where Leclerc and Ferrari belong. Back on the top step of the podium. Well, it was the usual wacky and silly foolishness from the Ford NASCAR mod. Guys, if you did enjoy it, then hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And let me know what track you might want to see me take this mod to next in a future video. But if you guys are new around here, do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.